right, today we're going to be doing something called perimeter fitness. For perimeter fitness, you're going to find the perimeter of each shape, and that's how many repetitions or times you do the certain exercise. For our friends that don't know what perimeter is, perimeter is when you add up all the sides of a shape to find out the total number. So if you have a square, each side is the same length. There are four sides. If one side is four, each side is going to be four. So you would have to do four plus four, plus four, plus four. Or you could even do four times four. For other shapes, you're just going to have to count the sides and add up the total numbers. Good luck and have fun. Our first exercise we're going to look at today is the kickback. To do this, you're going to be on your knees and your hands with your back flat. One leg at a time, you will alternate them. So you're going to do both legs. You're going to leave one leg on the ground where your knee is touching. With the other leg, you're going to kick it back so it goes out straight. You should feel this in your lower back as well as your leg. This is working on flexibility as well as muscular endurance. When we do these later, you can do all, for example, if you got to do 10, do all 10 on your right leg and then switch to the left. Or you can do one on the right leg and then get to your left and alternate all the way up to 10. But you will be doing whatever number you get on each leg. So if the number was 10, you'd do 10 on your right leg and 10 on your left. Next, we're going to look at leapfrogs. To do these, you're going to stand with your feet wide, wider than shoulder width. You're going to keep your back flat. You're going to squat down to the floor and touch the floor with your hands, kind of like what a frog would look like. From that position, you're going to explode up and a little forward, and then land back in the starting position. After you do that, you can walk back to where you started or you can keep going forward really depends on your space this is a muscular endurance and cardio endurance exercise you should really feel this working out your leg muscles as well as your heart and lungs now let's look at the muscular endurance exercise of flutter kicks this is going to be working on your core muscles which is like your abdominal stomach muscles as well as the upper leg muscles and to do these you're going to be laying on your back flat keeping your head on the ground. You're going to try to lift both legs up about six inches off the floor. Once you get in the ready position, you are going to kick both legs alternating up and down. They should not touch the floor and you're going to repeat that motion. If you have to do 10, make sure you do 10 on each leg. Make sure you're breathing. If this is very difficult, you can put your hands under your bottom. That will make this a little bit easier. But if you really want to challenge yourself, try to have your legs straight and your arms straight, but not under your body. They should be sitting next to your body. Jumping jacks, very basic cardio endurance exercise, very efficient as well. Remember to do these, you're going to be standing straight up with your feet together, your arms down by your side. You're going to jump, and when you land, you should spread your feet so they are wider than your shoulders and your arms should come up near your head. And then you're going to jump again and return to the starting position. Every two jumps is one rep. Push-ups. A couple different ways you can do push-ups. Um, you can do wall push-ups where you're going to be standing away from the wall. You're going to put your arms out straight in front of you with your hands on the wall. And then make sure you lean, kind of get on your tippy toes, so you actually have resistance. Then you're going to bend at your chest so your arms, you bend at your elbows so you feel pressure on your chest as well as your triceps, which is the upper arm muscles on the side of your arm, as well as the back. You're gonna bend those arms to a 90 degree angle and then you're gonna push up. That is the easiest way to do push-ups. The next way we're gonna look at is modified where you will be on your knees and your hands are gonna be on the floor but make sure you walk your hands out so that the 
pressure is on your upper body, not just your knees. Then you're going to bend at your arms again down to 90 degrees, and then you're going to push back up. And the most difficult way is what you see in the video. You are on your feet together, your feet are on the floor, and you're holding yourself up with your arms, staying flat like a table. You will go down, bending at your arms, not your waist. Your head's not going down, you are bending at your arms, down to a 90 degree angle, and then you're going to push yourself up. If you have to take breaks, that is fine, but when you go down during the push-up, your body should not touch the floor. The quad stretch. To do these, you're going to be standing straight up, starting with your feet together, arms down by your side, and your back flat. One leg at a time, you're going to lift your foot up off the ground, pulling it back. You're going to put your hand on your ankle or your shoe, whichever you can reach. You're going to pull your leg up towards your bottom. You're going to pull your foot towards your bottom. You're going to hold it as long as you can. Hopefully, you can do it as long as the problem asks. If you got to take a break, that's fine. You got to shake it out to keep your balance. It's also fine. You're going to do each leg for the amount the problem asks you to. And to help with your balance, try to focus on something that's not moving, whether that be a clock on the wall or a chair. It doesn't matter. You can also have a chair with you to hold your arm out on to help with your balance. Our last exercise we're going to look at today is the squat. Squats are very effective muscular endurance exercises that use a lot of muscles in your body. To do squats, you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart, back flat. You're going to pretend you're sitting down in a chair by bending at your knees, going down to about a 90 degree angle, and then you're going to stand back up. If you look at our example, his arms come out straight when he goes down. That should help with his balance. His eyes kind of look up, which should help with keeping that back flat as well. All right, so when we get started, there will be seven problems. They will be on the screen for a, an extended period of time. We will probably leave them up there for about eight to ten minutes. You can work at your own pace. We will do those seven exercises. I challenge you after you do these seven, find some perimeter examples online, attach one of the exercise to it, and then continue your workout. You can challenge your family to do the workouts with you. You can also leave a link down in the comments with challenges for us. And if you do that, we might perform the exercise and problems you should leave us and video them for your enjoyment.